All right, week six. Are you ready? I'll again with math. 11s, get them moving. 12s, get them moving. Play games, work on worksheets and um, flashcards with the older kids once you've gone through all of the numbers. It's really great. Just sing the songs over. And if you do like the hot potato game, as many times as you need to until they're all out. They get it in their head a lot. Possessive pronouns. If I am possessing something, it is mine. So possessive pronouns, mine, mine, mine. Possessive pronouns, mine, 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 like the little birds in Nemo. Mine, yours, his, hers, its, ours, yours, theirs. Mine, mine, mine. It's mine. That is mine. That is yours. That is his, hers, its. That is ours, that is yours, that is theirs. So you want to take an object and say, that is mine. I possess it, it's mine. The Renaissance period, there were so many people good at so many things. And in the timeline, I do this for Renaissance period, like good at this, and this happened, and this happened. So do that during the Renaissance period from 1350 to 1600, Leonardo, was a famous inventor. He just invented things, came up with these amazing ideas, okay? Leonardo da Vinci was a famous inventor. You can give Shakespeare a mustache, or like the little goatee, or the little head thing, however you wanna do Shakespeare, make a pose for Shakespeare, and then have him be super dramatic. Shakespeare was a famous playwright. Um, who's next? Michelangelo, you can make an M, and then use your M and turn it into a paintbrush. Michelangelo was a famous artist and Copernicus was a famous scientist and he saw, looked around and observed and found so many things. Or you can take that and turn it into like looking, whatever you wanna do. So Copernicus is seeing everything. One more time. During the Renaissance period from 1350 to 1600, Leonardo da Vinci was a famous inventor. Shakespeare was a famous playwright. Michelangelo was a famous artist. And Copernicus was a famous scientist. <laughs> okay, this is so ridiculous, you guys. Future tense, bow, stance. Future tense, bow, stance. Bow, bispit. That's for your Latin. Timeline. We ended with Alexander the Great. And you're up here. And bring both of these in like a big giant I and make M's. Okay? India's Marian Empire. And then you've got two M's. Already handy. Mayans of Mesoamerica. Okay? India's Marian Empire. Mayans of Mesoamerica. Punic Wars. Like it's puny. <laughs> Punic Wars. Rome conquers Greece. Like there's this conquering and then whoops, I slipped on the Greece, okay? Rome conquers Greece. Roman dictator, make a J, Julius Caesar, Caesar Augustus, and the Pax Romana, John the Baptist, Jesus the Messiah. That one you're gonna have to end on because no one wants to stop just at John the Baptist when Jesus the Messiah is next, right? So that'll lead you into next week. I'll do it one more time. So you're here, Alexander the Great, India's Marian Empire, Mayans of Mesoamerica, Punic Wars, Rome conquers Greece, Roman dictator Julius Caesar, Caesar Augustus, and the Pax Romana, John the Baptist, Jesus the Messiah. European mountains. We'll be coming around the mountains. We'll be coming around the European mountains. We'll be coming around the European mountains. Pyrenees, Alp Carpathians, Caucasus, Ural, Matterhorn, coming down the European mountains. We'll be coming down the European mountains. We'll be coming down the European mountains. Pyrenees, Alp Carpathians, Caucasus, Ural, Matterhorn, coming down the European mountains. And you could do it really slow. We're coming down slow, guys. We'll be coming down the European mountains. And then you can point to the map where it gets to that. Pyrenees, Alps, Carpathians, 
Caucasus Ural Matterhorn coming down the European mountains and get faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. And then animals react to environmental change. They adapt, take two A's and switch them. They migrate and they hibernate. Animals react to environmental change. They adapt, they migrate, they hibernate. Great job, you made it to week six.